Nocebo. Nocebo. A harmless substance or treatment that may cause harmful side effects or worsening of symptoms because a patient thinks or believes they may occur or expects them to occur. This explanation is on the movie Nocebo. I'm the anger guy. I'm going to tell you like it is. During Eve Green, Christine, a fashion designer, catwalk, there was an important call that needed her attention. Immediately after hearing what the other person said on the phone, Christine saw a rabbit milked eye dog with ticks all over itself standing in front of her. The diseased dog shook its body back and forth as if it was soaking wet. Water didn't splatter everywhere, but multiple ticks flew in all directions with one tick landing and biting Christine in the back of her neck. The dog and ticks weren't really well. What Christine heard on the phone gave her tremendous remorse with a feeling of a tick biting her which in her mind started an infection throughout her body. In reality, after Christine woke up, she started to have anxious obsessions, depressive tendency, memory loss, and actual physical symptoms from extreme guilt. Her relationships with her husband, Felix, Mark Strong, her daughter, Bob's, Billy Godston and her work started to suffer. After some time feeling like crap, Christine gathered herself to answer the front door. Diana, Shiphone Ashir, a petite woman, was standing there declaring Christine hired her to care for her and do some light housekeeping. With her logic explanation and some persuasion, Christine gave in to Diane, blaming it on her sometimes memory loss. Felix and Bob's wasn't all that accepting of Diana into their lives. At first, Diana was a Good cook, caregiver, and seemingly an all-around polite person. But that all changed when Diana was convinced she did the right thing by being with Christine. Diana gathered ashes from one of the fireplaces and placed them in a small blanket. At night, she placed a sheet of ashes outside her door. By morning, there were footprints in the ashes, which increased Diana's determination to fulfill her plan. The footprints in ashes means in Diana's folklore, a soul is stuck and is unable to travel to their destination. At that point, Diana made an altar in her bedroom fireplace and put her large suitcase in front so no one could see it. When Diana was a young girl, an emu, a woman with supernatural powers who could heal people or destroy them, came to stay at Diana's house. The next night, the emu died. A young Diana was sitting beside her when this happened. The soul, a little wet brown bird, crawled out of the emu's mouth and jumped into Diana's mouth and down her throat. After receiving the soul of the emus, Diana gained supernatural powers with a complete understanding on the art of healing. Diana told this story to Christine, but she didn't believe it, but was happy with the results of Diana's healing techniques. At first, Christine's daughter, Bob's, did not like Diana. Bob's eventually did like Diana because Diana pointed they had some things in common like they both really didn't have any true friends. A person would think everything was okay at Christine's home. Not so. One day, prescriptions were missing from Christine's medicine cabinet and Felix found them under Diana's bed along with the altar behind Diana's suitcase. Christine, Felix asked Diana to leave. Get out, man. Bob's, Christine's, and Felix's daughter was angry and frustrated with her parents. Before leaving, Diana promised Bob's she would never leave her if she did what Diana asked of her. Bob's did what Diana asked of her. Bob's lied to Christine and told her mother, Felix hid the medicine. Her dad hid the medicine. Why? With all the confusion of his wife not believing him now and wondering what the heck is going on in his life, Felix, leaving the room disoriented, somehow fell over the banister from upstairs and landed face down on the floor below. Ooh. He was whisked away to the hospital for a long period of time. Bob's did what Diana had asked of her to have her father removed from the house. With Diana gone, Christine's health and mental state was spiraling out of control. But Diana returned and told Christine she will find out what is really causing all her pain. She sat Christine behind an old sewing machine 
upstairs and fed her some kind of powder and began chanting. In truth, Christine was a true bitch and didn't care how to obtain great quality clothing for the cheapest price. Christine had gone all over the world to create sweatshops to make her beautiful children's clothes by paying pennies on the dollar. One shop was in the Philippines where Diane worked. During Christine's inspection where Diane worked, Christine told Diana's boss to lock all the doors to prevent the employees stealing from the company. Every day, Dinah had to bring her daughter to work because she had no one else to care for her. One day, it was extreme hot inside the factory, and Diana's daughter became hot and thirsty. Diana asked her boss if she could leave and get something to drink for her daughter. Her boss said, okay, and after Diana left, her boss locked the gates together from the inside. Diana's boss tried to adjust the small ceiling fan, and after leaving the fan, it started to shoot sparks, and a fire quickly engulfed the inside of the factory. Seeing the smoke, Diana ran back to the factory and begged Diana to rescue her daughter. She was not allowed because the entire factory was on fire. Before Diana's daughter burnt alive, she saw the ungodly sight of seeing human beings being burnt alive. To set her plan in motion, Diana, using her supernatural powers, sent the infested dog to Christine during her clothes for her kid's catwalk. Mm. Diana believed Christine was like those ticks feeding off that diseased dog. So... Diana sent Christine in her delusional mind to the burning sweatshop where her daughter died and made her see what her daughter witnessed. Diana told Bobs she will keep her promise to her, so meet her outside in the garden. When Bobs was out in the garden, she seen Diana standing at the edge of the roof and suddenly jumped. Wow. At the same time, Felix, her dad, came home and hobbled and walked past Diana's body and found Christine upstairs sitting behind a sewing machine burnt up looking like a charcoal cadaver. At the same time in the garden, a nestling slithered out of Diane's mouth and crawled into Bob's mouth. By lying about her father hiding the medicine, which made her dad leave the house, made Bob's an excellent candidate to be an emu. Now Bob's has the power of healing and proves she has the power to destroy someone's life. This film runs like a trout line with main marker boys at each end and floats holding lines with hooks on them to catch the unexpecting fish. After setting the line and going back to pull up each float, what happens? Okay, just like in the movie Nocebo, first line pulled up, nothing, nothing, oh. first, and then the next one, one fish, okay, then the next line up, two fish, okay, yeah baby, ah, uh, last line, a giant fish. All right. Winner, winner, fishy dinner. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate your viewing and value your comments. Thank you.